anatomical and surgical considerations of the pectoralis muscle. The pectoralis major extends from the sternum in the middle of the chest to the humerus. The pectoralis major muscle consists of two heads. Clavicular head runs in an oblique direction from the clavicle to the upper humerus. The sternocostal head runs from the sternum and number one through number six ribs to the upper part of the humerus in a horizontal direction. The pectoralis major is inserted into the lateral lip of the bicipital groove. You can see medial to the biceps is the latissimus dorsi tendon and medial to the latissimus dorsi is the teres major muscle. The subscapularis tendon inserts superiorly on the lesser tuberosity medial to the biceps tendon. The insertion of the pectoralis major muscle crosses over the long and the short heads of the biceps muscle. The insertion is covered by the deltoid muscle. The deltoid muscle forms the rounded contour of the shoulder. The pectoralis major muscle receives dual innervation by the lateral pectoral and the medial pectoral nerve. You can see them here in the lateral cord and medial cord of the brachial plexus. The main function of the pectoralis major is internal rotation and abduction of the arm. Push-up exercises and weightlifting such as bench press target and strengthen the pectoralis muscles. The tendon commonly ruptures from its insertion into the humerus. Pectoralis major tear usually occurs in young male weightlifters during bench pressing from eccentric contracture or lengthening of the muscle. Usually there is pain around the shoulder area and the patient will feel a pop in the shoulder while performing the bench press. There will be discoloration and burning over the pectoralis into the axilla. There will be swelling, ecchymosis, and palpable defect. The patient will have loss of contour of the axillary fold. The MRI will confirm the diagnosis, will localize the site of the tear, and will also differentiate between partial and complete tear. Tendon avulsion is the most common type of injury to the pectoralis major muscle, and the tear is usually a complete tear. Hemorrhage and edema at the level of the proximal humeral shaft indicates a pectoralis major tendon rupture. And the treatment is usually early repair of the tendon. Reinsert the involved tendon into the humeral shaft lateral to the biceps groove. In chronic tears, the tendon is usually retracted and the procedure will need tendon graft, which is a more complicated surgery and the outcome is not as good as in cases of acute repair. Chronic subscapularis stare sometimes a difficult diagnosis, and if it is missed, it becomes chronic and the patient will have a major disability. The treatment is becoming harder and it may require pectoralis major transfer for reconstruction. This will improve the function and decrease the pain. The subcoracoid position of the transfer allows redirection of the pectoralis major into a direction that is recreating the vector of the subscapularis tendon. In chronic muscle tear, transfer of the sternocostal head of the pectoralis major muscle is the procedure of choice. A musculocutaneous nerve is at risk during this procedure. The deltopectoral approach allows access to the anterior, to the medial and lateral aspects of the shoulder. It can be extensile and extended distally to incorporate the anterior approach to the humerus. 
The plane is between the deltoid muscle and the pectoralis major muscle, and the cephalic vein is used to identify the interval. Medial winging of the scapula resolves with non-surgical treatment. The treatment of medial winging of the scapula is usually observation, activity modification, and physiotherapy. It may take up to two years to wait for the recovery of the nerve because the nerve is a long nerve that needs time to recover with emphasis of the therapy on the serratus anterior muscle. Surgery may be in the form of nerve decompression of the long thoracic nerve and that is based on an image that will show that there is a compression of the nerve. Or the surgery can be muscle transfer. Split pectoralis major transfer for serratus anterior palsy. The sternal head of the pectoralis major muscle may be transferred to the inferior border of the scapula. How about Poland syndrome? Poland syndrome will have unilateral chest wall hypoplasia due to absence of the sternocostal head of the pectoralis major. And the patient will also have hypoplasia of the hand and the forearm and the handy deformities such as syndactyly, hypoplasia, or absence of the metacarpals and the phalanges. CT scan will show absent pectoralis major muscle. There is a pectoralis major muscle and a pectoralis minor muscle. The pectoralis minor muscle is a scapulothoracic muscle that joins the shoulder girdle to the thorax. The pectoralis minor muscle is covered by the pectoralis major muscle. The pectoralis minor origin arises from the anterior surface of the superior margin of the third, fourth, and fifth ribs near the costal cartilage. It inserts by a tendon on the medial border of the crocoid process of the scapula. Innervation. The pectoralis minor innervation from the medial pectoral nerve. C8 and T1. Action. The pectoralis minor stabilizes the scapula by drawing or pulling the scapula anteriorly or inferiorly against the thoracic wall. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.